Okay, this time we're going to talk about where to save our files. What do we do with all these things that we're creating? Where can we keep them and store them so that we can find them again on this computer? Where can we keep them and store them online so that we could access them from any computer? So to start, we're going to go to the Finder and New Folder. And that creates a new folder on our desktop. And we're going to call this Group Work. So now every document that you create, every file, you're going to save it into that folder so that we know where it is and we don't get a lot of clutter on the desktop. So let's say we go to Inspiration and we're brainstorming. Uh, maybe we are brainstorming clutter. And I'm going to rapid fire that and say, okay, where can I save things? I could save to desktop folder or I could save to Moodle digital locker and those are going to be the two ways that we do it so let's save this file and I'm going to select desktop and my folder group work and save there so now I can quit Inspiration. And if I look in my folder, there it is, group work, there's my file clutter. So, next we go into Moodle. Log in there, which I have already done. And you'll notice on the right hand side there's your digital locker. So if you click on that, you have almost 50 megabytes of space. Uh, for you to save documents and links in here. Uh, yours should be empty like this. Go ahead and click New Folder so that we can keep all of our files in one folder. And let's call it Quadratics. And we're going to Create. So there's my new folder, Quadratics. If I click on that, I go into my folder, which surprisingly enough is empty. I want to add a new file or link. And I'm going to do this at the end of the period every day so that all my stuff is backed up here. And if I want to work on it later from another computer, I can. Uh, what's the name of this? It is Clutter. Uh, no category. And I want to add a file, not a URL. So I'm going to hit desktop, group work, and clutter. And finally, upload file or link. Continue. And there's my file. I'm inside of my quadratics folder. There's my file for me to go ahead and download later from the website. So, hopefully uh, this lets you know where to save all your files, and good luck in the future.